YouTube! What is going on everybody? It's Wednesday morning, 6.49 and it's 33 degrees outside. Just want to give a shout out to my wife. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. Love you. Hope you have a great day. And a big shout out to all my uh, female subscribers. Happy Valentine's Day to all you guys. Hope you have a fabulous day. And uh, I hope your husband, your boyfriend, takes you out for a nice dinner. Because you guys deserve it. So I hope everybody has a great Valentine's. So today, guys, I'm trying to play catch up on some of the stops I didn't get to do yesterday because of the weather. So I got some BPWs that I got to do that I couldn't get into. I got one restaurant up on the hill. I couldn't do yesterday because of the weather and the ice and the roads not being plowed. So today I'm doing my route today, doing a little bit of cardboard stops, helping out Mayran. There's supposed to be another driver from a different location on the cardboard route today. So uh, we're all behind because of the weather. We're all trying to play catch up. It's not easy. So we'll get it done. Shouldn't be a big deal today. So. Thank God today is a lot nicer and not better looking than it was yesterday, that's for sure. Because driving in the snow, especially driving one of these big trucks, anybody will tell you they're worse than a car, man. They really are worse than a car in the snow. And the traction is horrible. Even though we have all this weight on the back, it really doesn't help the situation at all. But uh, they slide real easy. When you're turning, you really gotta go slow. Don't give a gas. Because if you give a gas in the turn, it's just gonna go to the right or to the left, depending on which way you're turning. So it's not easy. Uh, I've been doing it now a long time. I'm not saying I'm a professional. You're not, because when you're out here in the snow and ice, Anything could happen. You can slip, you can slide. Especially when you put weight on the front forks, it automatically uh, wants the truck to slide forward because the weight is weighing down the whole truck. But like I said, my dad did it all his life. I've been doing it for a long time. And every day is a new day, a new beginning, and you live and learn every day. Every day you learn something new, believe me. And uh, this is the kind of weather that I know a lot of people don't like to drive in, especially a big truck. A lot of people with cars don't like to drive in the bad weather. But when you got a job to do, and you got bills to pay, I'm not saying go out there and be crazy and drive like an idiot. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you gotta go out there, drive at a safe speed. Drive at a safe speed. Be responsible. Always uh, make a decision whether that container is safe to go get it or leave it for tomorrow. Because if there's a container that's downhill and it's snow and ice and you have a fear that you might not get back out of it, then leave it alone. Let it go for the next day because actually that's what I did yesterday. Some of them stops that the containers are facing downhill. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Especially when they're not plowed and then you got snow on top of ice. Not a good combo. So I make that decision because I'm the one that's out here driving the truck. I'm the one that's out here responsible for this truck. So if I make a decision to go and get it, that's on me. You gotta think smart when you're out here, especially in bad weather. Uh, like a couple of stops I just did. Some of these morons that snow plow, they have no idea what they're doing. They just plow right into the containers. And then I come along and uh, there's no way I can get through. No way. So what I do is I just take pictures, send it to dispatch, and uh, let them deal with it.
experience from driving one of these <clears throat> and your own logic about looking at a stop and you ask yourself, is it safe to go get it or should I leave it? If you don't feel comfortable going to get it, my opinion, just leave it, man. Just leave it. You can always come back to one. Take a picture if you can and leave it. Because that's what I do. Yeah, I got a couple more days left after that, so I'm going to take a few more. 
more days and then we're going to have to wait for uh, vacation time, that's all. And that's going to be coming up in, uh, in August, in August, going back down to South Carolina. So that should be fun. Stop right here where I fell last year. Look, 